Good morning, everybody. Good morning, and welcome to the channel. Welcome to our absolutely lovely day. Um, actually, a bit of a surprise today. Actually, being so nice because it was supposed to originally um, to be tipping down with rain today. Sorry about all the noise. I think a million one cars going past us. <laughs> I get the camera out, and there's loads of cars go past. They're always the case. But anyway, yeah. Today, originally, we were supposed to tip down with rain because this week's been pretty unsettled. Loads of rain and stuff. It's been weird because it's been warm though, very warm this week, but wet. You know, like heavy showers and stuff, and um, sometimes thundery. Yeah, but as you can see, in the moment, absolutely beautiful. So today, I'm heading down here, turning right down past where the van is, and then I'm going up this hill here, which I've done a couple of times this year. And normally, I turn left. This time, I'm going all the way to the top, right up there, where them pylons are at the very top. Very top of the hill. It's quite a climb. It's quite a climb. Yeah. So we're going to head up that way and then head down towards um, Durham Way and then around uh, a place called Sackerson and then up towards Burnhope. So a bit of a new route today. I have done Burnhope before, but it was, uh, it was last year, the year before maybe. So I might have done it. I looked on Strava actually, I couldn't find it. But I'm sure I've been up there before but quite recently, you know, as in last few years. But I couldn't find it, so it'd be interesting. And there's a new road I'm going to go on, which in a hill, I think, on that road, which I've never been up before, so that's completely new. So, yeah, so I'm going to head up there and then skirt around Durham. Well, go through the middle of Durham, actually, and then skirt around. And then uh, head up towards Sackerson. So, yeah, it should be interesting. So, the hill first, I'll get that done. I'll see you at the top. So, I'm still climbing the hill. I've gone the steepest part. I've still got a little bit to go yet. Yeah. I didn't tell me how over I am. <laughs> yeah, the car's coming down there. It's got a little bit to go. <laughs> nearly there, nearly there. You can see on the uh, the climbing feature on the crew there. How much left I've got. So I'm at the top of the hill, as you can probably tell by the sweat on us. <laughs> it's quite a hill actually. It's quite a climb. But you can maybe see from down there where the houses are in the distance. Look at the distance there, the houses. That line of houses there, that's basically where I was a few minutes ago, down the valley there. And I've climbed the top of here and as you can see, it's a fantastic view. It's an amazing view. Durham Cathedral's down in the valley, Pension Monument's over in the hill there. And I think, I've mentioned this before, but I was told when I was at school, that like going west from here, the nearest, uh, highest ground I think is in, in, in Russia somewhere, near Moscow or something like that. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard. But yeah, uh, it's a high up, it's a good view, as you can see. You can see for miles. I see it's not a new, new route, this. I've been up here before, but it's not very often. Um, it was probably last year, last time I was up here. I tend to usually come at least once a year, usually, normally. But I'm heading down here, and then go through Merrifield and down towards Durham area. So as you can hopefully see in the distance there, Durham Cathedral. So I'm in the middle of Durham. I've just come down past the um, university there and uh, as you can see, middle of Durham here. I'm going to go straight across the traffic lights down here and um, carry on through the rest of Durham really. So I'm not going like into the city centre if you like, but I'm very close to the city centre. Um, and then skim by and go up towards there. Uh, um, from Wigat Mower and um, towards the uh, Sackerson area. That's what I'm heading for. So yeah. Should be good, should be good. And the weather's holding out, no rain, not too much wind, so it's all good. There's a little bit of wind up to you actually, yeah, but obviously because I'm in the middle of the city, I'm not noticing it. And I've got my curse again, I've got my camera out. I wait till this road is dead quite far, I've got my camera out. Get my camera out and there's like a million cars going past. Yeah, I'm not moving on the bike, so I'm safe, but I mean, as in like noise for you to hear us. <laughs> it's always the case, but yeah. So, so yeah, skimming through Durham, out the other side, and then onwards from there. But so far, so good. And it's lovely and warm. Actually, the, the crew only says 17 degrees, but it's more than that. It's like um, you're very close, very humidity, high humidity, you know? It's like being in a hot bathroom or something. So we've got the viaduct there on my right. So that's the city centre there, just to me right there. And now I'm heading left, up this road rather than right. So you can see when you look down here, Behind us there, you can see the train going over the viaduct, that's down to the city centre here in Durham. And we're heading up this. Quite a nice little road actually, laying up here. Leafy little road really. 
I was thinking when I go up here actually that you wouldn't think you're in the middle of Durham. So I've come through Durham and I've come down the back lane now towards um, Chester Street. Um, so it's a back lane but it's always busy like. But yeah, I've come through the middle of Durham so I'll head down here and then I'm going to take a left turn a little bit further down which takes us up towards Sackless area. Oh, it's going dark and spooky look. <laughs> Just go through the woods here looking a bit uh, moody isn't it really? And that's the uh, bridge for the main East Coast uh, rail railway line there to go on the top. Uh, this heads now towards a place called Plawsworth, just a small little village, and then through there and up towards Nailsworth and then Sagriston. So you might remember this route here when I go down Chester Street. This is a cycle path that's on the side. So today I'm skimming up here because I'm not going on the dual carriage, that's for sure. <laughs> and I'm crossing over to go to the other side there. So yeah, come up here a little bit. I'm going to cross over the road just here. And then head up that road where the bin wagons just come down, just the other side there. So I've just come through a place called Sacriston. And I'm heading along this road here, which is new. Never done this one on my bike. I can't remember even driving along here, you know. I think I might have when I was really young, or I might have come along with my dad, but I've got very little recollection. Might be scrubby along here, maybe that's what I remember. Could be scrubby along there. We used to come to the scrub thing, but I don't rec re recollect going up any hill, but I know there's a hill along here. Uh, definitely. Normally, when I've come this route, I've gone down to a um, place of Witten Gilbert and then up a hill. I thought this time I'll come this way for some diff 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 bit different, so we shall see. Well, I'm at the top of that hill. Whoa, that was brutal! <laughs> that must have been about 10 15%. That was a brutal hill. I went on the corner through some woods and then just went up and upward like that. <laughs> it says, oh god, I'm never going to end. And then I hit this road and then this one goes up as well, but as you can see, when you get to the top, it's a good view. Really good view. You can see for miles in all directions, over that way as well, and over that way. Now I reckon, I could probably see where I was earlier. I think I might have been right over where the trees are in the distance there with the pylon. I could be wrong, we can only see with this camera, but right on the, where the horizon, where the sky hits the uh, ground, there's some pylons and some woods. I think that's where we were on the top earlier on. And I was looking over this way. I'm sure that's where it is. It's hard to tell from this angle, but I'm sure that's where it is, somewhere over there. It's amazing, really, isn't it, how far you can travel on a um, bike? You know, you can, you can cover a lot of distance, can you, on bikes, really, when you, when you think about it? You know, when you're going on a ride like this and you look back and you can see where you've been. It's amazing. I don't know when you'll see this video, but um, we've just been on holiday down in Norfolk. And that was lovely, really nice. It was so, so flat. I couldn't believe how flat it was. You could just pedal for miles and miles and miles. And every corner you go around, you think, oh, it must be a hill here. There's none. And then we went to one hill. I what it's called now. Yeah, I don't know, I can't remember the name, but it had a, it had a name. Um, you know, like Toft Hill or whatever it was called. I can't remember the name, but we thought, oh, this must be a proper hill if it's named. And it was literally like a, like a mole hill, it was a little bump. <laughs> it was just a little tiny bump, went up like that. Had a few trees on the top of on the other side, and I was like, say to Kate, is that it? Is that the hill? Surely not. But otherwise it was even named on the on the map and everything. I said it was going to be a proper hill, but no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was a bump in the road. That's all it was, a bump in the road. But it's lovely down there. You can see for miles and the skies are so big. Because you can see so far, that's a lovely part of the world. Very nice and nice people as well. All the people are friendly. Drivers are all good. Cars going past give you loads of room. Very friendly. So yeah, it's all good. Saying that, mine everybody's been good today. Mine. Durham drivers are always good. Ass here. Yeah. I had a works van earlier on. When I was going up the hill up to the top of uh, Bransmith there, that other big hill, and uh, I was going past some cars and they waited behind us for ages and went right over the other side of the road. So far the other side of the road, I thought he was going to go into the grass verge on the other side. It was. Um, a roofer, I, I didn't know what the name is, but if you're around Bradsmith area and you're a roofer, <laughs> uh, might be you. So, thanks if it was you. If you see this video, onwards and upwards, well, downwards actually. Once you get up towards Burnhope, where that mast is, you might see the mast above the trees. Once you get up there, I'll then be heading downhill towards um, Lanchester area. And then, once I'm in Lanchester, I'll be going up um, a road that I've been up a few times recently. Um, up towards the same mile road as I call it and round town all way I think.
I think a magpie is laughing at us in the bush, <laughs> in the tree. <laughs> so I've come up from Lanchester, up this road here, I don't know if you remember it, but I, this is the one that goes up beside the seven mile road as I call it, which is like over that way. So this one carries them up the side towards the seven mile road, and I'll be coming down the seven mile road and then going up another side road, which is, takes us up towards the Tauloy area. I'm in the usual haunt. <laughs> I'm often in Tauloy area. Um, so yeah, this is normally quite quiet, I shouldn't say that, like, because this time of night the kids are coming out with school, and last time I came down here, I think a lot of mums use this as a bit of a rat run. Um, because I, I remember last time I came down about this time, it was like three o'clock. Um, there's loads of mums flying down here, so I, I get along here before it gets crazy busy. And uh, along the seven mile road, but it's lovely. The weather's beautiful. It's really, really warm. I went past a woman further back there, um, and she had a, a big padded coat thing on. It's like, what? There's a queer noise up that bush there. There's a magpie in there, making some strange noises. So yeah, head up this road here, and uh, so we get on. But uh, good at the moment, feeling good. Hot, sweaty, but not complaining, because like I said earlier on, it was supposed to tip it down with rain all day today. Um, and it's not, it's nice. So yeah, make the most of it there, eh? because it won't be around for long, I tell you. It won't be long before the autumn, that's, that's here, will it? All too, all too soon, we'll be, I'll be out in the cold days, wrapped up in all my winter gear and that, so, so yeah, it's nice. I thought there was some kind of combine up here, but I think there's some kind of crop spray or something. I'm folding its arms out. I don't want to be uh, in the uh, wind with that hitting us in the face, I tell you, because the wind's blowing straight down the street here. So if we get past it before it starts. Yeah, I think it's uh, some kind of crop spray. Yeah, it's open this air. Uh, tell it's got his arms out and now it's going to spray the crops. So yeah, I'm pleased. I go past that before it started. Get a mouthful of insecticide or something. Nice. Nice. So, yeah. So I'm nearly at the top of that road, which then joins that seven mile road there and turn left to head down that way. And I'm going to stop and have a bite to eat. I've got a little sesame bar thing here. I broke a bit off before I came out. I'm going to have a bite of that. Five minutes rest, if I head down that, that seven mile road and I'm gonna get some cows to come visitors look. I'm gonna get some friends look, some visitors. Hello there. Hello. So inquisitive cows, aren't they? So inquisitive. Hello there, afternoon. Enjoying the weather? Yeah? Don't let me disturb you. <laughs> I think they want some of me bar here, yeah, look. <laughs> I don't even eat this, do you really? No. I don't think you like it. Nice, mate. Very nice. Very nice, but I don't think, I think it's the cows. Some quizzes want the cows. They're amazing. Hello. Hello, ladies. Hello. We uh, take a look at this house along here, on the left here. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning looking house. They look nice, very nice, very posh. I told my down Norfolk, which is some posh houses. Really, really nice houses down there. Beautiful. That one's good too. And our little old, old Durham here. That one's a good, uh, good, nice house. Nice. These are some nice houses around here, actually. Usually hidden away a bit, you know, at the countryside. Best place to be sometimes there. Uh, away for people sometimes. So, I've come around a big circle, as you know, <laughs> when I very first started the video I was here, looking up that hill to go over there, there. and um, at the moment I've done 40, 43 miles, and climbed 3,957 feet. Um, I don't know how far I'm going to go actually, I'm going to go a little bit further, probably up the bank down here and further around again, but uh, the traffic actually I'm probably here is getting mental. As usual, you know, I set off a bit too late, and even though the traffic's obviously mad all day, 
obviously the Terminators, quarter to five, it just goes crazy, you know what I mean? So, I've got to take that into consideration as well, today has been out and it's really busy, so, yeah, I don't know how far I'll go, I'll just see. I'm going to head up the hill here, along the top, and uh, towards the uh, old Ashesh village, and then probably see how I feel. I'm not sure whether I'll go up the fells again or just call it a day. I don't know. I don't know. See how it goes. See how it goes. But it's been good so far. It's been very good. It's been very good. Like I said, my own fault for setting up a bit late. Well, I'm on my way back over the fell, as you can see here. And I've got the wind behind as well. So we're doing like 20, 22 miles per hour and I'm not pedaling. <laughs> so it's nice. It's nice. Nice to give a bit of a push home because I'm getting a bit tired, to be honest with you. Done 55 miles so far, and uh, my legs are starting to feel it. I think I've got, got, got a few hills today as well. Been a fair bit of climbing. 5,153 feet at the moment. So, yeah, a fair bit of climbing. And as I see, my legs are starting to feel it, so I'm happy to have a bit of a push back. You can see here by the turbines, the wind has come from behind us. Give us a nice push back. I'm doing like 18 miles an hour. Without even hardly pedalling, so yeah, I'm all, I'll have a bit of that, thank you very much. <laughs> it's been a good ride though, I've enjoyed it. It's enjoyed it, I've enjoyed it. I'm nearly back home, I'm not far off. Probably about five, six, seven miles, something like that. I'll write the you like, obviously, what what my uh, final mileage is. But uh, yeah, it's been a good ride. Good weather, no rain. They said it was going to rain, I said before, but then, well, they said earlier in the week it was going to rain. But then they changed it, like, yesterday or something to, to this, and it's been lovely all day. Bit of a breeze, but it's been lovely warm, fantastic. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Bit of a different route. That hill, that bunker, that new hill I went up, oh, I tell you, how many notion to, no rush to go up that again. Whoa, God, that was brutal, that was. <laughs> I've done it, I've done it, and uh, I never stopped, I pedaled right straight, but, but straight up it, but, God, it was brutal. It was a proper leg breaker, that was. But uh, anyway, I've had a really good ride, and of course, as always, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for the support. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. It helps the channel immensely, and give it a, give it a like if you, if you enjoyed it. Anyway, take care of yourselves out there. See you all later. Bye-bye.